Good morning, friends. Uh, today I'll be making what I'm calling the half and half bag. And here's one example of it. And uh, here's another example of it. I think they're really pretty bags and uh, they're, I think, a little simpler to make than the prior bags we've made. Uh, probably something good for someone starting out doing machine embroidery. Uh, but anyhow, I've uh, already uh, hooped my uh, stabilizer and run the first step, which is, of course, just the general uh, uh, step uh, showing the entire uh, outline of the bag and where the zipper goes. So this thread is gold, so it's not easy to see. So I'm going to take and put my zipper right between these two lines here, this bottom one and this second one here. So uh, let me go find the zipper and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I found uh, the color zipper I wanted and I have now uh, taped down the zipper. I tape it on both ends and a little piece in the middle as you can see. So I'm going to take this to the machine and uh, run the tack down stitch, which would be step number two. Be right back. Okay, I have uh, taken the machine, uh, the, uh, the hoop to the machine, and it has tacked down the zipper, as you can see. And the next step uh, will be to turn the hoop over to the back side and put on the lining, the first piece of lining. And I'm going to put the lining just ever so slightly quarter inch below this bottom uh, zipper placement line. So, and by the way, the cutting instructions are in the instructions as far as what size. I cut all, for a six by 10 bag, I cut all the pieces seven by 11. Uh, but anyhow, let me try to get this on here. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's down too far. Okay. Now, see, there's the line there, and there's the line. Gosh, so hard to see. There's the line there. So let me take and uh, tape that down. Just take your hoop and let the lining piece just fall over onto the front and take uh, oh I don't like that I don't like these little corners here let me chop those off let me chop these off so I can see in the machine and not have this caught. Uh, anyhow, back to what I was doing. Just fold this over, fold it over again, and uh, grab a piece of tape and tape this right here out of the way. Hold it down so it doesn't flop back and get under your uh, back side of the hoop. We're, we'll turn it down later in the process. So there's the piece of lining and let's take, I'm going to use this beautiful um, batik for the top, the top fabric and I'm going to do the same here with lining it up just a quarter inch or so below the uh, uh, zipper itself and uh, let me oh I'm out of tape let me grab some tape and I'll be right back all right I got my tape dispenser refilled and let me continue now with this and stick a piece there stick a piece on the side and stick another piece on the other side okay I'm going to take this the hoop to the machine and it's going to 
run a tack down stitch right along uh, the zipper here, tacking down the front and the back pieces of fabric, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and now I'm, uh, this is all sewn down, and uh, I'm ready now to take and put my piece of batting right underneath this seam line, right, right there, and flip the front fabric over covering that piece of batting and uh, also this front batting is the only piece that I cut actually less than 7 by 11 I cut it about 6 by 11 so it'll fit under uh, and not hang over the side here and uh, anyhow I'm going to take this to the iron and iron this down nice and tautly and uh, put a crease in it so it looks nice, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I have uh, used the iron on this, and now it's very flat and nice with a crisp crease along the zipper. And I'm gonna take it to the machine and run the next step, which will run a stitch right under the zipper, all the way around the bag. And I just do this to kind of like a basting stitch to, even though I, I don't use a, a, a longer stitch itself, I use a regular, I think 2.5 millimeter stitch, uh, but I just use this just to kind of secure it so it doesn't move because we're gonna start doing satin stitches and elaborate quilting, or actually not in this case, the quilting is not that elaborate, but that's why I, do, I uh, put this uh, stitch that goes around this at the edges here of the fabric. So let me run the next step and I'll show you how that looks. Okay, I'm back from the machine and you can see the stitching along the, uh, under the zipper and all around the exterior of the, of what will be the bag. And so now I'm going to take and um, I'm going to place uh, or not place, I'm going to run the placement lines for the, uh, the uh, satin stitch line that will go right this direction. So let me go run that and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back and you can see I ran the uh, placement stitch here and now I'm going to, uh, well, let me grab that can walk with me over here. I'm going to grab this piece of purple and place it over. I cut it the same size. Uh, so I'm going to place it over the whole, uh, over the design, most of the design, and it's going to, uh, the next step, we'll put another stitch, the um, stitch that will tack that down and I'll be back in a moment. All right, I'm back and um, you can see here I've run the uh, tack down stitch for this the, for the applique and I'm going to go to my kitchen table and uh, I'm going to cut very closely along the seam line here um, and uh, remove this top part here and then um, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I have trimmed the uh, applique here and now I'm gonna take it to the machine and uh, run the actual satin stitch. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and the uh, satin stitch has been completed. I think that looks quite uh, beautiful. And now I'm going to take it back to the machine and uh, the pretty quilting will be done on it just like, just like this. So it's, I think it's simple but beautiful. Uh, so let me accomplish that and I'll be back momentarily. All right, the uh, beautiful quilting has concluded and our next step is I'm going to take this piece of lining that we've kept taped down. It's time for it to go to work. And so I'm going to remove this piece of tape and just let it roll. 
back and onto the back of the hoop. And uh, pull it nice and taut. And I'm gonna tape it down here on the corners. Okay, and I'm going to take it to the machine and uh, it's going to run. The next step will be for it to repeat the earlier step where it goes around the entire uh, exterior portion just under the zipper and that will tack down that back lining piece. So let me do that and I'll be back in a moment. All right, I have uh, run the last step, which tacked down the lining on the back, which you can see right here. So it's uh, held in place. So let me turn it back to the front, and the next thing I'll be doing is removing this tape. and opening this zipper about two-thirds to three-quarters of the way. And uh, I'll be taking my little connectors for my uh, crossbody bag straps. Here they are. I cut two pieces of uh, three-inch by three-quarter-inch strips of grow grain ribbon and I attach uh, this to it, these rings, and I take and I go to the stapler and staple the very top together here so, so they don't come loose, um, but I'm going to do that and tape them down uh, about an inch inside on both sides. So let me do that and I'll be back in a moment. All right, I have taken and uh, taped these down at the top and then I taped the uh, actual metal pieces uh, to hold them down so they somehow don't get up underneath when, it, when the uh, head of the, the foot of the machine goes through here. I don't want them to get caught up in there and damage it. The, uh, break the needle or do something even worse. So they're tied down or taped down and um, I'm going to take my back fabric and uh, if it has a pattern on it, which of course this isn't an issue with this solid color, but if it has a pattern you should put this piece face down and on top of that, I'm going to put this piece of what I'm using as batting. This will give some substance to the bag. This is a piece of, I don't know, something I started and, and uh, didn't like and just decided to cut up and use uh, as batting for my bags. So we're covering the top the zipper we're covering on both sides and we're covering at the bottom here and I'm going to take it to the machine and it's going to run around the entire exterior of this and it's pretty thick so if your machine has any kind of adjustment to to uh, uh, lift up the uh, presser foot uh, embroidery foot height you might want to lift it a little bit with uh, mine is under settings I, i'm on a baby lock solaris today uh, but any brother or baby lock machine should work about the same way at least the um, the higher end models uh, or the mid models i guess so anyhow let me go and do that and i'll be back in a moment okay that is taken care of you can see that i have stitched all along the exterior of the bag and um, so I'm, the last step is to turn the hoop over and i'm going to use some other color of lining for the second piece just because it's what i had around 
in the scraps and I'm going to take and I'm going to uh, on all four corners tape it down and take it to the machine and run this last step which will secure this it'll go around also the entire uh, exterior part and uh, close the bag up in that way so this is the second piece of lining and you should have nothing left to put on so anyhow let me do that and and i'll be right back okay i'm back two things i told you a story uh this last piece of uh number one uh, this is batik, and I can't personally tell a back and a front from batik. Maybe some people can, but uh, it, the same with uh, other pieces. If this had a print that you could tell was the front and the back, this piece of lining would have gone face down. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, of course, it didn't go the entire exterior, the stitching. It I left this open so you could turn the bag out. So I told you that obviously by mistake wasn't thinking. Uh, so let me take this out of the hoop and I'm going to trim around now about a quarter inch past the stitch line and when I get to the bottom here I'm just going to, uh, well when I get back I'll show you what I've done. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, I just wanted to show you I've trimmed all around here and now at the bottom of the bag Here's the two pieces we're concerned with The two pieces of lining all of this other part here You can just take your scissors and cut it across here about a quarter inch away from the Stitch line and get rid of it because it doesn't do anything at this point So go ahead and do that and I'll be back in a moment. All right, I trimmed off that bulk that uh, didn't need any longer, and now what I'm going to do is take and turn the purse through this hole, and let me do that, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, I have turned this out, of course, uh, so now both sides of the the interior fabric are showing and what you would need to do now is take something and scrape off this uh, area covering your zipper and it should come away pretty easily since in my case it's paper towel but I have no fingernails so I can't grab it at the moment but I'm going to remove that and then at the bottom here I'm going to take and uh, I always take this part that's open and fold it under just ever so slightly and then take this other part and fold it under and this is really short so that's not going to, this could have been a little bit longer, it would have made it easier. Uh, but anyhow, I'm going to fold this under and I'm going to take and uh, iron it down flat as I can, crease it, and then I'm taking it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew a little row of stitches right here to close up the bag. So I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, I'm back. I have uh, taken it and removed that part uh, or removed the paper over the uh, my my stabilizer over the zipper and I've taken my snippers and cut a bunch of little I uh, gave it a, a, a shave what I call it so most of those are gone and uh, I've closed up the bottom here so I uh, Anyhow, I'm going to put the phone down and turn it out, and it'll be completed, so hold on. Okay, I've turned the bag out now, and it is ready for its debut. I think it looks quite beautiful, and it's just got a plain back, uh, but it matches the front. And so I'm going to be posting this uh, pattern on my 
Facebook uh, uh, group page, Dennis Mirac Designs, M-I-R-A-C Designs. And this is the half and half bag in uh, the only size I've made, the six by 10. So I appreciate you watching me make this. I hope it's been helpful and I'll see you soon.